this day. Good morning everyone. So we're here at Sunshine Village. Just want to give them a big thank you for hosting us here, making these videos. And man, it is a nice day. Got some nice cloud cover coming over to make some really good time lapses later. And it looks nice and warm. Good time to chill at the beach. Gonna go talk to one of the managers, get a little walk through the place, learn about all what's going on here, and uh, get you guys informed. Alright, we're kind of having a late start today. Slept in pretty hard. We were up till about one or so doing time lapses last night. And with the 13 hours of traveling, it got pretty tiring. And with the night before, we only got like three, three and a half hours of sleep, and then 13 hours of traveling. So, pretty rough times, but we made it here all good. The weather seemed to be pretty good. A little choppy when we were coming over on the boat from the hall, but very nice to be here in this relaxing place. It's got a really, really nice ambiance. It's definitely a ways away from the party beach, so it's definitely a very quiet and really chill place. Nice little hallways. Everything's pretty much brand new in this place. We've got an elevator. Nice new elevator. Do 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 There's no elevator music. So we just finished up some breakfast, uh, hanging out with the manager here, doing a little tour around the place, and it's pretty nice. We had some awesome breakfast here, finished her all up, and I think we're about to go start doing some time lapses. The clouds are looking like they're moving, got some nice skies, no rain. So we're up on top of the roof here, getting some time lapses, and uh, looks like it's about to rain almost. Got some rain clouds over here, over here looks like it's about to rain. But all in all, pretty nice day. Lots of clouds, so it's really good for time lapses. And uh, that's pretty much what we're doing today. Getting a lot of uh, shots around the, the property and stuff like that. Got the Panasonic going here. Getting some time lapses of the clouds. That's probably done. Yeah. Make that into a time lapse. This is what I love about this camera. Just press the button, say I want a time lapse, and bam, you got a time lapse. Does it all in camera. Let's see what we got here. Focus. Oh, I think I'm in manual focus. There we go. Now our focus. Focus on that. Oh yeah, got a nice time lapse. This is the uh, building that they rent out or it's more like a hotel kind of, you can actually rent it out for months too at a time. All these down here are actually kind of like condos where you can actually buy them and foreigners can actually buy them because the land's leased and you get the land leased for I guess 50 years. But I'm going to get more into that and it's kind of the reason why I'm here because I've never really seen a place where you can actually buy a house or a property on a resort and so this kind of stood out to me and I thought I'd come over here and make some videos about it because I can see this is some really useful information for people who want to do this and it's definitely a bonus being on Pangalow Island because you're so close to Alona Beach and it's pretty much like a party beach or you got beaches, you got so much tourism stuff around here so this is a pretty cool spot for someone to retire or to buy a place and rent out but We'll get into that more later. Alright, so I'm out here at the entrance of Sunshine Village, Panglao, and uh, it's a nice driveway here, but the thing is, uh, over there, the road to get to it is really bad, and they're actually waiting uh, because it is a national road, so they cannot get it made themselves. Uh, the new airport's coming in, so the, I guess the city or the town or somewhere in Manila has to get it done, and it might take a while, but uh, the road here is pretty nice. Alright, so this is the parking lot here. I guess uh, all the properties have their own parking lots. Uh, place for parking the bikes, bike rentals too. They also got a nice big golf cart here to tour uh, tourists around. Because they don't have a shuttle bus right now, so they have a big golf cart. And uh, yeah, they also got these nice bikes to rent out, so that's pretty cool. Got a time lapse going here. And yeah, all these, all the lots, all the houses have their own parking spots. 
parking spots for if you're staying here in the hotel or resort or whatever because this whole building here is like the rental place up top is monthly rentals and the bottom uh, two levels is for uh, daily rentals now I guess pretty much the whole resort is already built but there is few but I guess there is a few more houses getting built along here and that's gonna be the end of it so you got construction right here going on for the last houses and all down here, got a bunch more condos and houses already made. So this here is the beginning stages of a house being built. And I guess it goes up in about two or three months, which is pretty damn fast. So these workers know what they're doing. They've done it a lot and they are pretty good at it, I guess. They are hard at work, building the last of the houses. And I think they said all the resorts should be done by about June or maybe July, so it will be 100% complete. All right, so right at the entrance we have the office right here where you go check in, get your keys, and right next to it is the, I believe, workout room and ping pong area, and over there is gonna be a uh, sports bar, I guess, and right behind this is the massage lounge, and down that way is the restaurant. So we'll take a little tour down here. Got a little statue fountain thing here. All right, taking a little walk down here. Got the pool area right here. Got the mini store. Got a restaurant right there. We're staying up on the third floor there. Really good food at the restaurant. Over here we got the pool, got lounge chairs all around. Oh look, found a wild Mitchie. What'd you get? Oh damn! Good job, baby. Here's a better view of our room right there. Right up top on the third floor. And like I said before, the third floor is actually for monthly rentals and the bottom two floors are for day rentals, more like a hotel or a resort. And all these, all these houses here, are actually uh, sold. Pretty much all these are sold to uh, foreigners. And the way they do it is the land is uh, leased out for 50 years, so you get a 50 year lease, but they own the building. And after the lease is up, you can lease it again. But most of these people aren't going to really worry about leasing again because most of them are in retirement age. So this seems like a really cool place to retire. My place and have it as like a beach house kind of. Beach is only a kilometer and a half away so it's not too bad at all. If you have a bike or a car it's pretty easy access out of here. Mitchie's really enjoying the landscape in here. <laughs> She's loving the flowers. Grounds are kept really nice. Lots of nice palm trees, flowers, shrubs. Yeah, it's just got a really nice ambiance to it. Me and Mitchie were really surprised when we got here. At night it's just got a really chill, nice, uh, cool ambiance to it. So I'll take you guys for a little walk around here and show you guys the rest of the resort village. Gates are pretty much right there. This is the edge of the houses over here. I guess there's two sizes of houses, one small and has a, a patio, I guess. And uh, there's another one with uh, no, or no back patio, just one uh, front patio. And I guess they're building some bungalows too. So I guess there's 50 houses all together and uh, 30 rooms in the uh, big one over there. And over here is where they're building the bungalows. These ones are getting freshly painted. See a bunch of construction going on. Looks like it's coming along pretty nicely. And back this way, we got some palm trees getting put in. 
doing some landscaping here. This here is the second pool. Not as big as fancy, but it looks like it's good for uh, doing laps and doing workouts. More houses over here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. The restaurant. Right there, got the masseuse place over there, showers, shower off after you're done swimming.